Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom. Once, 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 once again, as always. Today, we're going to be talking about version one auto hotkeys and version two auto hotkeys. I've done some videos where I show you how you can have both versions installed on your computer and how to run them individually. You know, make this script run in version one, this script run in version two. I'll link those in the description below. But maybe you just want to go ahead, upgrade to version 2. You don't want version 1 even on your computer anymore. I could see this being something that comes up uh, at your job, possibly, where they're like, hey, just use one version, use the newest one, etc. Joe and I have talked about version 2 and just kind of how fast we think it's really taking off. You know, it's still in beta, obviously, at the time of filming this video, and... You know, we don't know when it's going to come out of beta. Even then, how long is it going to t take to adapt? It could be years and years before it really truly becomes mainstream, I guess you could say. Just because if you're out there looking at version 1, version 2, how many scripts are out there, 90, like, 8% of the scripts you're going to find out there on pretty much any website are all going to be in version 1. Also, we've talked about how version 1 is just easier if you're new to coding, you never code it. I would still stick with version 1. Uh, but if you are looking to kind of really get into coding or you're previously a coding experience from other languages, version 2 is definitely a lot more what you're going to be used to. So to each his own. But let's say, you know, I see this come up a lot. Oh, if I switch to version 2, does that mean I have to convert all my scripts and, you know, if you're like me, I have, I don't even know how many scripts. And even if you only have like 10, that could be a lot of work to have to sit there and basically translate them to the version 2 syntax and just how it works and make it work. Now, I came across this randomly and I honestly can't remember how I found this, but this is awesome. I think this is something that's going to really push version 2 of becoming a lot more mainstream. I will link this, obviously, in the description below. Uh, this comes from, it looks like, a Eugene SVK. And this is absolutely amazing. This is actually a auto hockey version 2 script converter. So instead of you having to sit there and have your script one or version one open and sit there and like copy it make sure you're changing all the syntax to be correct this will do it for you and i think this is really going to be a huge driving force to really push version two uh you know once it goes out of beta to really push it forward even by maybe years just because it's like insanely awesome so like I said, in the description below, check this out, download this. You can, I mean, obviously you can download every single file individually or just download the entire zip file. And once you get that, unzip it. And you're going to end up with this file here, which is all we saw on the GitHub. Sorry. Um, so there's a lot going on here. You got, you know, it automatically comes with version one and two. Uh, which is fine because that's what's using it's using that to convert and test uh, lots of different files folders all that kind of stuff but all we're really looking at is this one for this video quick converter v2 now this is written in auto hotkeys version 2 so when you run this you just got to make sure you are running it into version 2 so i'm just going to do it the simple way here where i just drag and drop onto version 2 like I said, watch the videos below. There's different ways to kind of do this. And this is what we get. Pretty simple GUI, pretty simple to understand. Uh, let's open here and let's do some very simple code here. So we're just going to do F1 uh, sleep 500 message box. Hello world. Keep it simple. Oh, and it returned. So we're just going to do very simple code here, nothing too crazy or anything like that. Uh, so this will work in version 1, but this will not work in version 2 because this is just being used as a command line where in version 2, everything's a function. So this would air out. It would not work. Uh, this is version 1 syntax, so I'm going to copy that. So this side right here, this edit box, this is where you're going to be putting your version 1 code. 
then all you gotta do is come down here and you can push uh, the buttons right here to run it in version one just to test it out. Um, so you can do it that way. Uh, I've had some issues with that. Hopefully that gets fixed. It doesn't always work. And the when you highlight over here, over there, it says run the converted V2 code. Uh, that's incorrect. I think he needs to fix that too. So it's still being worked on. This is technically in beta also. But all we're going to do is click this little arrow. And as you see uh, with the text there, it says convert V1 to V2. Let me uh, reformat here a little bit better so you can see exactly what oops. let me redo my obs here so you can see stuff a little bit cleaner there we go that should be good uh so yeah we're just gonna go ahead push that and as you see how fast that was it was i mean it's not a lot of lines of code but it's still pretty dang fast it has now made this i'm gonna copy this over into notepad so we can see it a little bit better um, so it does add these like little notes. I just always delete those. It's just saying that it added brackets, but boom, it just formatted. As you can see, it added these, which makes it into a function. You know, we can move that over to be a little cleaner looking. And then it changed the message box. You know, it has that parentheses with the quotations and boom. Oh, and with the sleep, it also put those in uh, quotations too, or parentheses. So yeah, it, it converts it. Uh, I've tried it on some simple stuff like this. I've done it with even something like a GUI and it converted it perfectly. I haven't tested out every single command and function that's out there. Obviously, if you run into something where maybe it's not converting quite correctly, I would just reach out to the guy on his GitHub and let him know I'm going to be compiling you know stuff that i find too so you can also comment below if you want to let me know eventually i'll send him over some stuff um the next thing we can do then just to test it out is we can push the play button here and that's going to run this side so we'll run that oh i guess i got to push f1 there we go and yeah there it goes test version 2.ahk so it is running in version 2 and then uh, just exit out of my tray there. Don't want that open. Oops, closed the wrong thing. Let me relaunch that. Sorry about that. So if you have any questions that I don't explain in this video on how this program works or find any type of errors that are happening, definitely let me know. I'll let him know eventually, or maybe he'll watch this video. Now you got a few other things you can do. You got some menus up here. <clears throat> you know, you can open your test file if you just want to copy and paste the actual script. Uh, settings test mode. I'm not really sure what that does. It doesn't as far as I can tell it doesn't change anything I could I'm probably wrong, but I haven't noticed what it's actually doing uh, Let me go ahead and repaste that code just so we can see stuff a little better uh, View that just zooms in that's just to make your uh, font bigger or smaller um, so like that looks a lot better uh, view show symbols uh, that's basically when you convert over here also it's just showing you the oops, let's get that back view symbols that's just showing like your line breaks in your code uh, i'm not really sure why you would need that uh, i have no purpose for it but maybe you do to each his own uh, view tree that just kind of jumps that around i haven't really noticed what that does either uh, view expected code that also seems to change stuff if you guys figure out what some of these functions are doing, let me know. I haven't really gotten a chance to see what exactly it's doing. Uh, you got reload. That's just going to reload, clear out all the text, any settings you had. That's all that's doing. Let's get that back. So add bracket, uh, as you saw right there, maybe where that sleep and message box was. That, that kind of just is uncapitalizing those uh, things right there for some odd reason if you don't like using capitalize get alt label maps uh, I'm not sure what that does either uh, I haven't really noticed anything with that and then you got the help stuff so you got online version 1 documents version 2 documents and that's just going to open a new tab that takes you straight to the auto hotkeys main website for version 2 and there's a lot of information here. It shows you what's new in version 2, any troubleshooting you need, that kind of thing. And then version 1, 
well, same thing, but it's just going to take you to the version one and has all the same information, functions, objects, all that kind of stuff. Just in case uh, you forget something and you want to see maybe what the difference is, uh, command help. I haven't had that really do anything for some odd reason. I, I click it. Oh, there it goes. Just really, really slow. So that's basically the exact same thing. It's just opening it in here. Now this is pretty cool because I guess what it's doing, like if I ask highlight message box and say command help, it's going to open message box. This I like a lot. This is very, very cool. So you can just highlight something either in version one or version two. And it's just going to take you to that website, uh, the main page in a GUI actually. So it's not even opening. And as you see, this one opened version two. So it knows which side you're actually getting from, which is really cool. Uh, it's very helpful. And this is opening in a GUI. So it's not even opening Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever you're using, Firefox, which I like. Cool. It is really cool. Uh, you can push this. This is going to uh, make it look a little bit uh, more format it uh, for you to look at. So it's just kind of highlighting so you can see the differences a little bit better. Uh, there's different things here you can click that'll show you different things, you know, whatever you want, clear boxes, that kind of stuff. So just play around with that. Uh, compare VSC. That is going to launch VSC, obviously, in a second. It's being a little slow. And that's going to show a comparison within here. So as you see on the left side, we got our version 1. On the right side, we got our version 2. So for this just being in beta, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, that was a quick crash course. The other thing, obviously, is you can save your uh, folder. <clears throat> it's automatically going to name it like H1 or H2. Um, obviously, that probably wouldn't run unless you have your computer set up that way. So you just need to change that extension, change it to whatever name, save it where you want, so on and so forth. But yeah, uh, that was pretty much it. I think this is something that's really going to push Auto Hockey version 2 forward very fast compared to what I originally thought it was going to do. If there's any other programs out there like this that you have came across, this is the only one I've seen so far. Definitely link it in the description below. I would like to kind of review any other ones that are out there, see which one I'm kind of in favor for, or what you guys are using and enjoying. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely do. Throwing two to three videos out to you guys every week. And just in case you ever want live support, me and Joe, uh, the automator, if you haven't seen him, he's another YouTuber with a big age case uh, video selection. Every Friday at... 11 a.m. Eastern Eastern Standard Time, EST. We go live on YouTube where we also have our Zoom open if you want to join versus typing to us a problem you have. We'll definitely be there to discuss it with you and give you live support. If there's nobody live, we kind of just talk about random auto hockey stuff. Uh, maybe you'll find something interesting or something you didn't even know you could do with auto hockey that we were showing. A lot of times we also show off a lot of programs that people have written in auto hockey being like, hey, I found this program. It's really cool. Here's what it does. Here how it works. Here's what you can change with it. All right, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.